What's up guys, Jimo here again with Refinish Network and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply clear coat over your headlights or taillights. So the lights on this Nissan Altima have started to fade from UV abuse and they have a bit of scratching on them but generally just faded quite a bit and we are going to bring the shine back up rather than polishing like in the last video what we're going to do is apply the clear, it'll restore the UV uh, protection bring the shine back and we're also going to add a bit of black into it which is going to give it a bit of a tint as well. So the first thing we're going to do is sand it down with some 600 grit wet paper and that's going to remove any of the defects on the front of the headlight. And the second thing I'm going to do is sand it down with a gray nylon pad with a sanding paste. And after drying it off, I'm going to wash it down with a plastic cleaner. In this case, I'm using a cleaner from BASF RM902. After masking off the parts of the light we don't want to get any paint on, I'm going to apply a plastic primer. This is BASF's RM865. Now this will give you an idea of what it would be like if we used an untinted clear. It would just bring the shine back up and if that's what you wanted then you could just use a straight clear. But this primer, once it flashes off, it will go flat again. So here I am just mixing up some clear. I'm using Glazer's 923-240 and it gets mixed at 2 to 1 with the hardener and about 10% reducer. So I'm going to use some of my older solvent paint that I have kicking around. This is RM Diamonds BC250 which is a black with a bit of blue in it as well. So I'm only going to add a small amount here, about 2 to 3 grams, and it's best to spray it out onto a test card to see kind of how that's going to affect your color. But you can get a bit of an idea just looking at it on, this, on the mixing stick. So I'm going to apply it like any other job, just spraying it on medium wet, and you can see it's bringing the shine back up and giving it a slight tint. So you can spray maybe up to about four coats. I would suggest trying to stick to two, but you can see that it's going to get darker and darker with each one. And this is the end result. And here's what it looks like on the car. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to click like and leave me a comment below.